good day all and welcome back to the channel so in this video let's discuss about order 14 fleet management so fleet of vehicles in a company it can be trucks delivery vehicles cars cabs buses and even bikes so identifying and managing money spent by our company on these vehicles is really important so we need to track everything that happens with our vehicles including repairs, services, mileage, fuel, contracts, etc. So you can see this is community edition and we can install fleet module from our auto apps, auto app store and after that you can find the menu here so just click on it. So the fleet module of Odo platform is not only designed to manage the operations of a vehicle service provider company but also for multinational corporations and companies where they enable the employees with the company vehicle during their period of employment. So in this dashboard you can see the created vehicles in different stages like you can view the registered vehicles, downgraded vehicles and then ordered vehicles that are ordered to order then you if you create new request you can view the vehicles under new request so the vehicle allocations in the module are transferable to the user's needs that is user can manage op all operations related to the vehicle so let's see how we can manage these things using fleet module so first of all, before creating a new vehicle, let's see some other things like under configuration, you can configure manufacturers and vehicle models for our vehicles. Okay, so when you open as manufacturers, you can view some pre-configured manufacturers like with the manufacturer name then two pre models and you can create new manufacturer from here by providing the name and you can add an image for that. Then here comes vehicle models, that is we can create vehicle models so already we have four vehicle, vehicle models and you can create new one from here. So you can add the model name, then the manufacturer, so I'm adding Tesla. Then here we can add vehicle type, so by default it is set as car. And you can see the image is added by as automatically, then we can set a fleet manager. So by default initial admin is set as a fleet manager. Then we can add vendors for our vehicle models. So we can choose different vendors from here for this model. Multiple vendors can be added from here. Then you can save the vehicle model. Okay, so now we, when you come back, you can see one Tesla model is created. And okay, now after configuring these things, we can come back to our dashboard and create a new vehicle so just click on the create button and here we can choose a model so i'm choosing my model s tesla motors model s and here we can add a license plate of the vehicle then we can add tax for our vehicle so this tax are really useful later in order to search for the vehicle like you can uh, use these tags to search the vehicle if you want to view the employee car then you can add uh, junior like that way then we can add vehicles driver details that is respective driver can be allocated and a future driver uh, allocation can also be made under the vehicle information that is um, here if I set Azure India as my driver and if he is not available uh, you can use future driver that is here we can set a driver okay and after that you can apply change so when you click on apply change automatically the driver's history is updated so when you click on that driver's history you can view the true two drivers added the start date end date of the driver and you can also add attachment and you can also add more drivers from here using this create button so let's come back and here then add we can add uh, if you plan to change a car you can enable this option then we can add assignment date then location so here I'm adding India as my location 
Okay, then after adding driver details, you can add vehicle details like last odometer. So this one is really uh, important thing that is odometer detail of the vehicle. So I'm adding 4000 kilometer as my odometer reading. Then again, uh, so this one is actually the last odometer reading. It can be updated automatically and that is it will be updated automatically by Odo. Then here we can add immatriculation date. So by default it is set as a current date, today's date. And uh, so this one is when the vehicle has been immatriculated. Then chassis number. So this one is a vehicle identification number. So you can provide a number here. Then the catalog value of this vehicle. That is the value of the bought vehicle. And then purchase value of the vehicle. Okay, then the residual value. Then uh, after that, you can add contact details of the vehicle. So by default, the manager is set as, you can see Mr. Latin, then the first contact date is set as today's date. And you can also change from here. After that, you can add model details of the vehicle. Like you can add this number of seats of this vehicle, door numbers, then color. So I wish to add red. You can add the color then. Model year 2019. Then some engine details like the transmission. It can be manual, automated. Then the fuel type. So you can set as diesel, then carbon dioxide emission as gram or kilogram, then horsepower. So these details, that is details related to engine can be added for the vehicle. Some Then some description that describes the vehicle, that is related to the vehicle. We can add some information. Okay, so after setting these details, you can save the vehicle. So you can see uh, automatically the odometer reading is updated. That is one odometer is reading is added for kilometer. And here you can see there are zero contracts created for the vehicles. That is uh, currently you can see the vehicle is moved to registered state. Now after this you can create a contract for this vehicle. So just click on the contract and click on create. And from here, you can choose a type of this vehicle, Omnium Leasing or Repairing. And then here we can select a vendor, then a reference, then we can set an activation cost, then recurring cost, we can set a recurring cost monthly. Then we can update the contract expiration date so this contract will expire in one year by default let us automatically be set as it will expire in one year and if you wish to change this you can just change from here plus 2i so you can see it will expire in within two year and we can add included services if you wish to add some services included in this contract you can add that and some terms and conditions related to this contract so after that, you can save the contract. So you can see now this contract is in progress. And when the contract expires, it will be moved to expired state. So if uh, the date has reached, it will be automatically moved to expiration, expired state. And it's also possible to manually close this contract using this button. Okay. Now when you come back, you can see one that is in progress. And you can also create multiple contracts for uh, vehicle uh, but only one will be in running state so you can see one contract now we can add services to this contract so you can click on service and create new one so if I wish to repair if I want to repair my tire you can add description then service type by default repair and maintenance 
and if you want to snow tires or, or tax toll uh, you can choose a different service types there is different services are available for your vehicle like charging system diagnosis oil change so different services are available and then we can see the date then cost of the service so if i if it requires 500 you can say that then the vendor then we can change the value that the driver of this vehicle so you can see it is already set as blue and now we can update the odometer value so i am updating the odometer value of this vehicle to 5000 kilometer and you can add some information related to the service if it's complete now we can save the service and then you can move to running state if the service has started you can move to running state and if it is done you can just click on this done okay you can see one service is in running so in this way multiple services can be created for a single vehicle okay and as we have updated the odometer reading inside the service you can see there are two readings odometer and here we can see the last odometer reading is updated to the to 5000 kilometer so you can see two odometer reading latest one is 5000 and if you add one more odometer reading that is the latest odometer reading so if i update this to 5500 and then when you come back to your vehicle you can see the last odometer reading is updated to 5500 kilometer and this odometer is now three okay so this is how it is done and if you want to view the total services um, that is service status you can just click on this services that is you can view service logs so you can see one service it is in running state and if you want to complete that is if you want to mark the service as done just click on this done and it will be moved to done state so you can see it is done okay then now here we can also view the total contracts so you can see four contracts are in progress state and you can also view the recurring cost of each contract recurring cost frequency then the expiration date of each contract that is start date and end date and we can also view the odometers all the odometer readings that is that have been added for each vehicle and you can also view the driver and the date of each odometer reading now when you again come back to the dashboard you can see our vehicle tesla motors it's added here and you can see one contract it is in running state okay then for some vehicles you can view contracts are expired so for this vehicle uh, you can see renewal overdue that is why the warning is shown is in red color this is because the contract has expired and if you want to create a new contract you can just click on create and you can see by default the contract start date it is set as today's date okay and for this contract uh, this for sorry for this vehicle you can see the contract it the renewal will be due soon so we have to renew the contract by clicking on the contract again same way we have to renew the contract by creating a new contract then when you go to configuration settings there also you can find an option uh, that is related to the contact alert that is we can set an end date of contact alert that is sent an alert some days before the end date so by default it is set as 30 and you can update from here and save the settings then comes reporting so we have a reporting uh, that is the cost analysis so this allows us to monitor all costs associated with a given vehicle with the type of service 
that is to obtain various analytical as well as numerical reports of the vehicles which have been described in the platform so you can see this one is a da uh, okay this one is a graph view and we have different measures like cost count and you can view uh, this cost analysis for contract and service and it's also possible to uh, compare this analysis this report with previous period or previous year and we can filter this cost analysis report by service contract then we can group this by vehicle driver and we can add custom groups and filtrations to this report and this report uh, can also be viewed in different format of charts like we have pie chart line chart and bar chart and this cost analysis report can also uh, be viewed in a pivot view that is as pivot table so you can see uh, different vehicles uh, the contract cost service cost from here and you can see as we have added comparison to this cost analysis report you can compare the cost of year 2020 and 2021 and you can see the variation in percentage so managing the fleet of vehicles in a company with the order platform will be advantageous and provide a complete management of all aspects of the fleet operation so that's all about auto 14 fleet management in community and if you have any doubts related to this video, please add your comments below. And for latest updates, don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoatsyprocess.com.